Hello, everyone, and welcome to day five <laughs> of 90. That means there's only 85 more to go after this, and we're already out of things to talk about. We are not out of things to talk about. Okay. She's not out of things to talk about. I'm just kidding. We have plenty of things to talk about. We can talk about the church service. We can talk about the um, meal prep and the conversation at dinner about the foods. Okay, so let's just start with that. (laughs) So we live sort of in the South. I mean, Oklahoma is probably considered sort of a Midwestern state, but it's sort of in the South. And we have this discussion about cornbread all the time. Now, cornbread is not supposed to be sweet. Cornbread is not meant to have extra sugar put in it. When you put sugar in it and make it sweet, it's corn cake. So, April tends to believe that cornbread should be sweet. And that's where she is wrong. No, it should be sweet and slathered in butter. So, chime in, let us know, sweet or no sweet on the cornbread. Okay, that's the question for today. Cornbread or corn cake? And cornbread is the winner every time. Nope. So, no, I thought we'd talk a little bit about our day. We had a great church service this morning. Um, For those of you that don't know, we host a watch party for Elevation Church, which is based out of Charlotte, North Carolina. We do it in our home uh, on Sunday mornings, and it's slowly but surely uh, growing on us and on the people around us, and we're, we're expecting God to do good things through it. But it was a good morning, right? It was a good morning. Good message. We yeah. had the entire table full at breakfast time. Yeah. We had my dad and my stepmom here today. And they got to experience it for the first time. They both really enjoyed it, which was a bit of a surprise. I didn't know that, I didn't think that they would enjoy the music quite so much, but I think that they did. And it was good. Pastor had a good word about capturing thoughts. Mm -hmm. Catch a thought. I caught a thought. It was the actual name of Mm -hmm. of the sermon. And when it comes to marriage, especially, (laughs) you got to learn to capture your thoughts. Don't say everything that comes to mind, right? Yeah, exactly. So that's one thing that I really have to work on because I'm the master of just saying whatever comes to mind and then uh, having to apologize afterwards. Um, But we have to capture our thoughts. Well, and not just capture the thought, but, you know, he went as far as to say, you've got to ask the question of, is this from God? Because if it's from God, it's going to lead to the calling that he has for you. If it's not from God, it's going to go to a place that you don't want to go. I liked the illustration that he used of the getting in a Bentley. You may enjoy the ride, but you may not like the destination. That's correct. And oftentimes, uh, the the other thing that we get caught up in is when we we often tend to believe that the devil is going to come after us in an obvious fashion, that um, there are big things that we have to deal with, like, oh, I'm not going to murder someone. I mean, mm-hmm. that's a pretty easy thing to sidestep. Um it's not as easy to sidestep whenever you have a thought that you know your spouse didn't do what they were supposed to do today and you somehow want to take it out on them. That's true. So the devil is often disguised in things that we don't think are threats. And, and that's where a lot of people get caught. And when you start down that path and you let those thoughts enter your mind and stay in your mind then you end up being overrun before you know it mm-hmm. you don't even realize you're off the path yeah and I've, I've seen that play out in my own life uh, I've seen it play out in the lives of our kids and you know it, it's it's and it's a true statement that uh, oftentimes 
we don't see the devil coming. Mm-hmm. Well, and just like he said in his message, you know, you you have God and the devil both working on your mind. And so whenever they're both using the same tool, it can be a very um, confusing thing. So it's what are you getting close to? Mm-hmm. And you get close to God through being in his word and praying and being able to draw nearer to him so you can hear his voice. Yeah. I like the last thing that he said when he was talking about the woman who had the issue of blood that she had been seeking treatment she had tried everything she could for 12 years and then she had a thought that if she could just get close enough to touch Jesus that that would be enough Mm -hmm. and so how often are we willing to act upon a thought so yeah and he talked about faith and fear that um, those are two sides of the same thing which are you going to choose are you going to choose the fear or the faith and the devil's wanting you to choose the fear god wants you to be faithful it's a hard decision yeah and easy to get lost in Mm -hmm. so that's where community comes in community is very helpful Uh, that's one of the things that I'm really thankful for that we have uh, a community of friends and and people that we can count on to to give us solid advice uh, to give us good solid background to bounce things off of Um, so community will do you well if you don't have a community then I would encourage you to find somebody locally that you can be accountable to that you can Uh, speak encouraging words with that you can receive encouragement from Uh, not just anybody don't be going to the club looking for somebody to be accountable with Uh, (laughs) you gotta you gotta do be a little bit more discerning right (laughs) so uh, but I, i promise you that where you are there's a good local church that can help you uh find people uh that you can relate with yep what you guys don't know is we actually have Jaden and Thomas here in the room with us tonight. And Rockford asked Jaden if she wanted to speak since she's, you know, home for fall break. She got on and did a bit of a commercial on Instagram today for the message. Do you have anything you want to add, Jaden? About the message? Yeah. It was good. <laughs> she was like, it was good. Yeah. And I thought it was very um, awesome. Thomas came in from being at his dad's house. And we're twinning. We both have our Elevation shirts on. So, great minds. Okay. (laughs) Okay. Be be aware of your thoughts. Um, As they come into your mind, remember, is it from God leading me towards my calling? Or is it not from God, not leading me towards my calling? Take those thoughts captive, catch the thoughts, and then make them obedient to Christ. That's day five. Day five. So, tomorrow we start a new work week. It'll be Monday, back to the grind. And so, we will see you guys tomorrow.